it's really a great pleasure to assist the students in learning process of chemistry this is amit verma pct chemistry guda international school guda gorji district jujnu rajasthan in this crucial time of corona pandemic it become very essential to keep the social distancing everybody is suffering due to this pandemic business transportation day to day life education and everything to keep this thing in the mind our great motivator and beloved chairman sir mr sampath baniwal has launched an app the name of this app is school log student app you can download this app through the play store or the link given in the description box the username and the password for this app can be obtained by calling on these numbers dear guardians and students i strongly believe in darwin's theory of adaptability according to this theory a living creature needs to adapt itself according to the changing climate it it helps the creature to survive in this environment now it's time to change the methods of teaching now it's time to change the methods of learning now it's time to change the methods of our working that is all for today from my side now i'm going to teach you 12th class chemistry topic gibbs energy of galvanic cell but before we proceed this topic we need to understand first what is the gibbs energy and what it means actually so gibbs energy means to say the energy which is obtained from any chemical reaction which can be transformed into work is known as gibbs energy in very simple word if i'll say that when a chemical reaction takes place some amount of energy can be released right and if this energy is transformed into work then this energy the part of energy which can be transformed into work this energy known as gibbs energy i want to tell you this thing through a example for example you can see i have matchstick in my hand if i burn this matchstick then a chemical reaction takes place and the hydrocarbon present in this matchstick is converted into co2 and the water vapor during this process the chemical energy was converted into heat and the light energy for example if we assume that 10 joule of energy is released by burning of this matchstick but 10 joule of energy cannot be transformed into work 2 joule or maybe 3 joule of energy will be used to increase or decrease the entropy to increase or decrease the temperature or any other energies now we are going to talk about the gibbs energy of galvanic cell so dear students as you know that galvanic cell is used to convert chemical energy into electric energy right so change in gibbs energy for any electrochemical cell is equals to the maximum work maximum work done by the cell and we know very well the galvanic cell used to do electric work in the physics you have already studied about it that electric work equals to potential difference multiply by charge so we can say that it is equals to charge multiply by potential difference so we can say that change in gibbs energy for an electrochemical cell equals to charge multiply by potential difference 
charge for the galvanic cell is given by NF. Here N stand for the number of electrons transferred in one redox reaction. For example, if I'll talk about the Daniel cell in which zinc and copper is used, you know very well the value of N will be 2. And F stand here for the Faraday constant that is equals to 96,500 coulomb per mole. Right? So here NF stand for the total charge and potential difference will be donated by E0 cell. And why am I keeping the note here? Because the potential difference in the standard condition must be there. The concentration of electrolyte must be 1 M or we can say the 1 mole per liter. So we can say that delta RZ equals to NF E0 cell. But as you know that work is done by the system. So its energy is decreasing, right? So we will apply here negative sign according to IUPSC convection. So this is the formula which tell us about the relation between Gibbs energy and the standard potential difference or you can say the EMF of the cell 